Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. As it is, I am back. To being a trainer whenever um, my segment is done with uh, Team Rocket. And we're back in Cerulean. So as it is, we'll be back to it. We'll be back to it. As it is, I end up finding out that this place is called Saffron City. Oh, Mr. Mr. Can Copycat come out to play? Don't call her that. That's all a made-up fantasy name. Your friend has been acting strange lately. I think she's not feeling well right now. She needs to stay home. Oh, there's a freaking hole right there. Welcome, young man. We're in the daycare service. Would you like me to raise one of your Pokemon? I sure would. My nitter in here needs to get himself some experience, but I'm just too busy with other Pokemon. As it is. Isn't that right, Nito? Nito, Nito. Very well. We'll raise your nitter in for a while. You should be fit for fighting in no time at all, I assure you. Awesome, thank you, sir. Now back to my Pokemon adventure. Why, hello there. Would you like me to raise one of your Pokemon as well? Oh, hee <laughs> hee. My apologies, I didn't quite catch your uniform. I take it that you're with the others right this way, then. Follow me now, little Nino. There's a good lad. Now just come on down here. Whoa. Greetings, sir. Some fresh meat for you in more ways than one. Archer. What have we got here? A male never ran, is it? Well, it may be cute, but it certainly won't be any use for manual labor. Hmm. No, indeed. But if I recall correctly, it should be pretty uh, versatile in the breeding department. That's so. You, Grunt, go throw this little fella in the breeding pit. Try to get close to that Cubone we've got there, too. Could use a few more Cubone eggs. Yes, sir. 
Well, I'll be on my way. Well then, and you are? Ah, so you are Stefan. Welcome to Cerulean, the city of beautiful, full fault, lowing water, or whatever the hell it is. Make yourself at home in our little humble little rocket base, but please don't feed the Pokemon if you'd be so kind. Got the message from the boss about your mission. Bill's house is just north of the city along Route 25, right on the other side of Nugget Bridge. It's pretty big, you won't miss it. I had a box of few rarities put together per boss request. Honestly, if I were Bill, I'd take the job in a heartbeat. If I were if the stuff in there was what I've been offered. But then I've heard he's a bit of a picky weirdo. You can go collect the parcel up in the storage room over there. Now if you excuse me, I have to give these rookies here a crash course in the art of good burglary. This part is always good fun. You're the one who sees Bill. The package thing here hopes it helps at least a little bit. That choke there belongs to some hiker who hasn't been back for it for like a year. Haha. <laughs> Well, he sure can't complain that he hasn't got enough exercise when he finally gets it back. And here are some of the Pokemon. Apparently, Pokemon eggs are all the range in Johto and Hoenn, yet most people here seem as if they don't even know they exist. Ha! Huh. Which means that we could take them all for ourselves without trouble. Man, I hope that Laparas will lay an egg before too long. Those things are so rare, man, but be such a shame to let it go. You can't exp We're working to create drugs that will make Pokemon stronger and faster. Oh yeah, you're missing out, Stefan. This burglary is where it's at. I dare say you guys in Cerulean could learn a thing or two from us about the art of camouflaging secret hideouts.
Okay, so I've delivered Bill the parcel. Damn it, Giovanni, why do you keep treating me like I'm some amateur collector? I mean, shiny magic carp, really? Oh, and some myrrh candies too? Spectacular. And what's this? A ticket to some exclusive party on the SSN liner? Please. I've got all the high end connections I need in alcohol. Only dollars my concentration. Okay, here comes the actual interesting part. Hmm. As thanks for your cooperation, blah 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 blah. We'll offer you a regular salary of such and such. Well, okay, that's respectful. But you do realize I can get that much working at a freaking silk, right, Giovanni? Jeez. Here's a thing you've got to know about me, pal. I only care about two things in life. Science and rare Pokemon. That's it. Those two things are my uh, the alpha and omega of my life. Money, power, status, politics. These mean nil to me. Do you see that? If I take the job, you tell Giovanni it will be on the following conditions. First, Team Rocket is to send me a regular sample of the rarest Pokemon you acquire. Be that through breeding, stealing, catching, cloning, or however it is you guys do it. I rather, I didn't know, to be honest. Second, since I know you guys have spies in Silk Coat, I want you to give me any and all intel you can gather on their new adventure. Rumors have been going around that the technologies news groups for weeks about Silk being on the brink of of prototype for some in a in note of it new Pokemon capture device if this is going to be as big as they say I can hardly afford to miss it now I'd go there and investigate the thing myself but I'm frankly I'd do it sooner than eat a dead muck then work for a big conglomerate like silk well did you get all that good because those are my terms for the time being at least I suppose I might just change my mind go back and tell all that to your little superiors if you'd be so kind I got work to do Hmm. Anything else to report? No. Then leave a genius at his work, please. Tell you what. What's your name? Stefan? You know I admire you, persistent, Stefan. I want you to have something. There we go. And I received a cell phone from Bill. I want you to be my Team Rocket contract, Stefan. Yes, that's equal a condition of taking the Porygon job, but one that will be 
just between you and me. Do you understand? That is a cellular telephone. Quite a little marvel of technology, I know. I'll be calling you on there once in a while to check on, on you and have you tell me if you rocket guys have done or discovered anything that might interest me lately. Is that right? All right with you? S splendid. In fact, of course, I, I break a sweat when he says that. He says splendid. Come to think of it, there is one particular rare Pokemon that I have a long been on the look for. One that I think you guys could help me locate. If you don't mind me asking. Are you all familiar with the Mewtwo project? No. Oh, I see. Well, I guess Giovanni's not the one to reveal his secrets all too easy. I suppose that's reasonable. Never mind, then. Uh-oh. Oh my. What's this? More rockets? I thought I got all you back at Mount Moon. Oh well, I suppose beating a couple more of you guys couldn't hurt. If that's what it takes, am I right? I say, knocking out after all the rocket other wimps on this bridge, I could use a challenge. Bring it on, Mr. Rocket. And we meet Trainer Blue, Pokemon Trainer Blue. Things he gets hit with gusto, and he Pidgey avoids. Sings another gust. Another avoid. Send out G.
super effective, but G eats it and lands a critical hit on double kick. Critical hit. Extreme poison sting. Critical hit, another extreme poison sting. Ratatat is too in love. And I make her hit Seth one more time. Alright, alright. Take it easy. You won, okay? You know what? This isn't not even fair. Why the? Do you just not have the right Pokemon? No, that can't be. I just have to train harder. I need to get better, stronger, darn it. Still not good enough. Hey, Stefan, was just looking for you. 
Dude, that was the most badass burglary I ever seen. No question. Well, you know, it was the only burglary I ever seen so far, but you get the idea, Rad. We just kind of dug our way into there and scoop. No more TMs for you, old man. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, Lord. You should have been there, Stefan. So, anyway. What have you been up to? And, of course, this is what they do. Every time the person ends up getting more TMs of dig. Huh? What? You maybe fought the spiky haired kid from Mount Moon just now? Dude, what have you been smoking? Hmm, no really. Well then, go figure. See, I told you that kid was probably nothing but a wimpy twerp, didn't I? Well, good thing we got that settled, eh? Only wish I could have been there to whoop his ass too. Though, you know. Anyway, enough chit-chat. We probably want to head back to the hideout now. The others should be back there by now. I just stuck around back to see if you've finished with the other mission yet. Well, surely done ourselves a good dishonest day's work. Haven't we, Stefan? Archer will have a reason to be proud. Let's get going. Holy mother of Mew. Run, Stefan, run. Phew. What in Garatina's blood? The cops. How did he find us? And of course, as it is, Giratina is the the Pokemon of the universe, of our universe of the adventure. So it's funny that they keep saying Giratina. Geez, Stefan, what's going on? How could this happen? I swear, I did everything right. Do you think they saw us? No, we got away in time, didn't we? Oh man, we have to get back to hell right now, Stefan. No time for messing about. You got time. I got time. might want to make your way quickly, rather quickly downstairs, there's a slight of disagree. Oh, there's a slight degree of agitation going on there. <laughs> you guys, you're not going to believe this. The cops are in town. They're up by the old TM collector's house. I swear, we only barely got away before they had us in cuffs just now. No kidding, man. What do 
do you think we're all so worked over? over? Jeez, what are we going to do? You think that they're on to us? But they couldn't have seen us. We're real stealth like. They got no reason to think that it was us and not some old burglar, have they? Come on. We can't know if at least one of us did it. slip up and got spotted at some point. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't take a genius of a bystander to spot a crew of rockets running around in a house being robbed and somehow connected the two. Doesn't it? That's enough. Please be quiet. All. Oh, there should be no reason for an alarm. The police have arrived at the scene a lot quicker than they usually do. Guaranteed. Granted. But there is no reason for them to suspect us all in particular just yet. And even if they did, well, we got enough influence in the Kanto Police Department to ensure that repercussions for us will be minimal. No, this is far too low impact episode for them to take any defined, defin definitive action. Unless, of course, hey guys, check this out. It's on the TV. Get over here quick. And as it is in the movie and the show, there, there are funny people that do goofy things. Hey, dude, I can't see. How about you find some other place to watch it? That's right in front of my face. <laughs> and, now to, and now in the alarming crime rated news, a re-owned collector of technological machines was earlier today a victim of a vicious robbery while away from his civilian city home. Police arrived at the scene shortly after the incident, but weren't unable to catch the perpetrators before they made their escape. Our own Northern Canto reporter, Ford Regular, reports from the scene. And now it flashes over to their scene. I don't even know what happened. I was just on my regular hike up to Mount Moon and I came back down and all of my hard earned TMs were gone. And here I'd gone and planned all year to teach this here TM dig to some little strange fruit or manicure or what have you. And now it's all gone. And then they dug this giant hole right through my wall. I mean, these crooks are digging their way into no good, I say. Truly an unnerving tale from this poor homeowner. Now we understand that your daughter here was out playing in the vicinity when this incident took place. And that she in fact was witness to, to some of the actions of the criminals responsible. Now miss, would you mind explaining to us exactly what you have saw? Well, you know, I don't know exactly if it was the same people, but 
There was this creepy guy who tried to rob me earlier. Truly shocking. Yeah, he was a real funny looking guy. He had green hair and these weird black pajamas. He had me fight him in a Pokemon battle. And after he won, he tried to steal my Pokemon. I wouldn't let him have them though. So then he just told me something about me being too old. And then ran off. I don't know where he went to exactly, but I think I saw them with some other guys wearing the same funky outfit after. It was really weird. Now, Mr. Officer, I'm led to understand that with the aid of you or this young lady's description that the camp that the police department has got and rather a good idea of who it might be behind this crime. That's correct. The variation of the footprints as well as the speed which the operation was carried out made it clear that the burly gravity was carried out by a large group working together. Furthermore, the universe, uniforms described by the witness leave little doubt in our investigationers minds team rocket must be behind the most hideous crime you heard it here first viewers the Kanto police department believes in other words that this burglary was an act of organized crime by the notorious anti-government organization team rocket positively nerve-wracking to think that these wretched criminals are currently on the loose roaming these streets viewers are advised to guard their homes and their pokemon In light of this and other reported crimes by this criminal organization, we reached out to Champion Lynch for a comment. Another camera scene. And this is Lance. <clears throat> it has to come to my attention that the Kanto region has been recently the victim of several acts of organized crime at the hands of this Team Rocket. I am also led to believe that this organization has perpetrated a number of lesser crimes primarily around the Celadon area, but that the local police force has had a tendency to turn a blind eye to these misdemeanors. With this burglary as well as with recent reports of similar mischief behavior on Mount Moon and at the Pokemon Tower in Lavender, the Rockets have proven themselves to be to pose a genuine threat to regain to regional security. As we do know that they they were at the Pokemon Tower. Wow, this this moment fits in with this game. All of this, of course, is of course completely unacceptable. I have therefore decided to initiate a new program to combat organized crime. We will bring the rockets to justice. We are stationing federal police agents in every major city across the region. These specially trained moral impervious forces will actively combat large criminal operations and will provide victims of crimes with the safest avenue in which they're to in which to report their perpetrators. Furthermore, as of today, each and every identified member of Team Rocket 
is a wanted criminal. Ooh. For every Pokemon reported stolen by each member, the bounty on his or her head will increase. These public bounties should help raise awareness among the citizens of Kanto about the region's most notorious criminals. In addition to informing authorities of their whereabouts, citizens are advised to stay away from and especially to avoid assisting in any way these individuals. Businesses such as Pokemarts are also encouraged to deny service to wanted criminals in order to prevent underdue damage to their reputation. Of course we want equally to encourage criminals who choose to renounce their past evil doings and become law-abiding citizens again. That is why any rocket who cares who chooses to hand back a stolen Pokemon to a local police officer will have the bounty on his head reduced in proportion to the strength of the returned Pokemon. Additionally, police officers will hand out rewards to former criminals who have kept a reward of good behavior over long periods. Wow. With, this, with these measures, we move confidently in the direction of the crime-free Kanto. No lowly thugs should ever be allowed to threaten the security or the well-being of this proud region. That is all. The regional police force is reportedly working around the clock to empower Lance's new act crime program. We will bring you more news on its progress as it arrives. Oh no, they're on to us. I knew those cops meant trouble. Now what are we going to do? Man, I don't want to go to jail. Ronnie, you worthless piece of crap. Now we got the police and the government on our heels. All this because you couldn't keep yourself from robbing every little girl you came across. Yeah, you punk. Why couldn't you just stick to the mission like the rest of us, eh? You always had to be the hardhead, didn't you? But, but guys, give me a break. How was I supposed to know that Brad was the collector guy's daughter. I mean, I was just doing exactly what all of you would have done. Matter of fact, I bet your stinky asses would have done exactly what I did. If you have half the chance, you dumb little... That's enough, grunt. Be quiet. Lance, that son of a grandma, pretending like he has been known about our operations for ages already. Ridiculous. Grunts, the day Lance gives a rat -a ass about Kanto's safety will be the day I die. But he clearly has decided now is a good time to seem like a do-gooder. For the press. What exactly. This means for us. I am going to have to discuss. 
with boss the bloody pump to which you and your family will be beaten should you ever reveal any confidential information to the police should not be news to you anyway besides that i don't really care whether any of you get the police on your tail or not you rob or refrain from robbing as you see fit and then you personally suffer whatever consequences come from that i might also add that however Morally impervious, Lance thinks that he's special cops, or I've yet to meet a Kanto policeman who's totally immune to bribery. Anyhow, the bottom line is, keep doing as you've been told, grunts. You still get to be a Pokemon gangster. Gangsters, just don't be stupid about it, all right? Well, I won't pretend like my capacity for giving praise to anyone at all is not a little hampered just now. But I'll try my best. Great work on your mission, Stefan. You saved our Porygon supply and you've done it even without having to spend more resources than you can afford. I am going to personally commend you to the boss for a job well done. So. It is in good conscience that I trust you with another high as stakes mission. I'll get right down to it. We are involved in a smuggling deal with a certain gym leader down in Vermilion City. <laughs> yes, that's right. Given his rather public status as a Kanto veteran from the war, it should come as, as no surprise that Surge happens to be a rocket sympathizer. Anyway, the good lieutenant has managed to get a number of rare Johto Pokemon smuggled into our SSN line. That's just about to dock at Familiar Harbor. He'll be handing them over to us in exchange for some goods that our scientists have synthesized in the lab or here in the other room. Go pick them up and then head south of here through Saffron to get to Vermilion City. The rocket admin will We've stationed there is a bit of a downer, but you should probably meet up with him just to lend yourself a bit more credibility with dealing with Serge. Did you get all of that? It's good, lad. Pick up those drugs from our scientists and off to Vermilion with you. Yes, you, Stefan. You're the grunt who's carrying out the smuggling deal with Lieutenant Surge. Yeah, it took us ages to get strong enough, but here's the stuff he wanted. Treat it with care now. Steroids. Hmm, yes, the exponential function with the product of the square root is negative one is pi as input and O. Oh, Haha, <laughs> oh my god, that's insane. Okay, just one more cat video and I'll get back to work now.
Okay, we head down from Saffron. And Route 6. As it is, I've familiar self, familiarized myself with Route 6. And as it is, we will be saving. Going to the next episode. As it is, we'll be automatically about to continue off of this next episode.